What's going on everybody? This is Joseph from Nerds of Matrimony. Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. So in the last episode we took out uh, Bossaron, who was Colossus number 9, the giant turtle. And in this episode we're going to go after Colossus number 10. So we're finally in the double digits. Yay! Uh, now before I get talking about anything else, I want to go ahead and apologize. Um, this video is actually two days late. Um, on In the last episode I said that I would upload this one on Monday, and it is now Wednesday. Uh, but I do have my reasons. Uh, Monday when I came home, uh, I was going to actually record and upload this part, but I had a massive headache like all afternoon and evening on Monday. Like it started at lunchtime and it didn't go away. So that happened. Um, combined with the fact that I had a massive toothache for about three hours on Sunday, my mouth is still sore. And then yesterday, uh, I was feeling pretty nauseous all day. Um, so, yeah. I'm still not 100% right now. I still feel a little sick to my stomach, and my mouth is still a little sore, but um, I am doing a lot better. So, um, yeah, so we're going after Colossus number 10. Now, this is a very unique uh, Colossus. It's a very unique fight. Um, it is one of the few fights that actually takes place indoors, like the entire fight uh, takes place indoors. And uh, this is really the first Colossus that's actually like a considerable distance away from the Shrine of Worship. So we have to go quite the distance here to get to this one. So uh, anyways, um, talking about uploading, um, I am definitely going to upload uh, Part 11 tomorrow. And then um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're actually going to be gone. Um, my wife and I are actually going to head up to Waxahachie for the weekend. Um, she's going to be selling some of her art stuff at a convention up there. So we're going to be gone for that. Uh, so there won't be any uploads this weekend. Um, but we are going to be back for uh, Monday and Tuesday. Um, and then we're going to leave Wednesday to go spend Thanksgiving with her parents. So that Monday and Tuesday of next week, um, I am definitely going to be uploading videos because I've got the whole week off. We're off that week from school. Uh, so I am definitely going to be uploading videos on Monday and Tuesday of next week. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can upload two videos both of those days. Because if I can do that, if I can get part 12 uploaded tomorrow... Or sorry, part 11 uploaded tomorrow, and then upload two videos Monday and Tuesday, then I'll only have one more episode to do for this Let's Play. And I can get that done and over with. Um, that episode will probably be uploaded next weekend. So, like on Saturday or Sunday. Just depends on when we get back. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I know it's been a long time coming, but I'm I'm ready to get this Let's Play over with so I can get on to other things. Um, I'm actually going to have all of Christmas break off this year because I'm not coaching basketball. And uh, we're actually going to be spending several days of Christmas break at home. So I'm going to have a lot of time during those two weeks to uh, upload content. So because of that, I'm going to uh, pretty much try and get done as much as I can for the next Let's Play. Um, try and get sort of a, a kickstart um, on that uh, project. Uh, just so I can catch up, because I'm so far behind on where I need to be. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to use that time to upload a lot of videos and um, you know get a jump start on the next Let's Play. Um, because baseball season is going to come up in February, and uh, when that happens, I'm going to have a busy schedule again. So um, my uploading schedule is going to be all off because we're going to have practice and games and stuff. So yeah, so I'm going to try to get a lot done over Christmas break. Um, I mean, granted, I'm not going to try to just power through it. I am definitely going to rest. Um, you know, I'm going to take a couple of days where I just don't even upload videos. I just take a couple of days off. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah. So, <laughs> um, 
yeah, and then when we get into January, I go back on my regular upload schedule of Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I'm going to try to maybe upload two videos uh, every now and then on a Saturday, just to, again, kind of catch up on stuff. So anyways, we are actually at the Colossus. Alright, so um, I apologize for the pause right here. Um, our, <laughs> our cat actually decided to jump up onto the cabinets in the kitchen. So I was trying to get him down, but he was refusing to get down. So I said, whatever. He'll eventually get down. So, yeah, you can see on the map, we're actually a pretty far distance away from the Shrine of Worship. We're all the way over on the left side of the map, as far as we can go. You can see where we fought Boss on in the last episode. Alright, so... This is Dirge, otherwise known as the Sand Tiger, and um, this fight is unique because this Colossus, as you can see, obviously, um, burrows under the ground. This is the only Colossus that does this. So basically what you want to do is you want to um, ride around on aggro and not hit a wall like this because then he's going to run you over, like so. It shouldn't kill you, but you want to hurry up and get back on your horse. So basically what you want to do is um, you're going to want to use your L1 button constantly in this fight because, again, that focuses the camera on the Colossus' head. Um, obviously, every now and then you want to turn the camera around and make sure you can see where you're going so you don't run into a wall or a rock formation that's in this cave. But basically, you want to get him behind you, and you may have to slow down every now and then. And once he gets behind you, you want to turn around and look at him. Eventually he'll open his eyes. When he does this, you want to shoot one of his eyes with your bow. Now you have to do it quickly, unlike I do here, because if you don't do it fast enough, he'll close his eyes, he'll dip down, and he'll launch up out of the ground like that and try and hit you. So if you see him close his eyes, just veer off to one side or the other and just run away. So basically, uh, you just, again, like I said, you just want to shoot one of his eyes with your bow. Uh, when you do that, he will go temporarily blind, and you basically just want to get out of the way and he will uh, run into a wall. And when he does, his body will be exposed and you can go run up on him and uh, start taking down his weak spots. He actually has two weak spots. They're both on his back. Um, and they both take about three hits a piece, I think, to uh, destroy. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Th this fight took forever right here. Um, the first time I fought this guy on my first playthrough, I got done with him very quickly, um, but for whatever reason, he was having a hard time catching up with me. Um, I don't remember him being that slow, but uh, yeah, so if you're seeing that he's not really catching up to you, you may have to like slow down a little bit as you're running around on aggro, so just let go of the X button. Slow down a little bit, but then push the X button again, because you don't want to come to a complete stop, because it takes aggro forever to start running. Um, another tip I can give you if he's not, if he's having trouble catching up to you, um, is to basically just swerve around on aggro. Go left and right, uh, or maybe circle back around towards him, and then um, run away from him. Which is probably what I should have done, and I think that's what I did in my first playthrough, but for whatever reason, I was thinking he was a lot faster than this, and that he would just catch up to you. So, you're going to see, it takes me a long time to get to that second glyph here. Um, I get a few opportunities to shoot him, and I totally miss on him, and then um, again, he you know, I remember him being a lot faster and being able to catch up to you a lot quicker, but I guess he's not. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, so um, I guess I could ask how you guys are doing. I haven't asked that in a while. So, how are you guys? Um, do you have anything planned for Thanksgiving? Are you going to go see family? Are you going to have a big, gigantic meal? Um, I'm excited because uh, we didn't go to Thanksgiving last year. 
uh, to my wife's parents. Uh, but we did go to Christmas, and I know her mom had a big meal for Christmas, so I can only imagine what Thanksgiving's going to be like. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I only weigh 155 pounds, but I eat a lot. <laughs> I eat way over my body weight. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I just have an insanely fast metabolism. It's kind of ridiculous. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it is slowing down with age, but uh, that's why I've started exercising again uh, to maintain that and also just stay fit. So, I actually took this morning off. I didn't work out this morning because I was still recovering from feeling sick yesterday. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, as you can see, like I said, he is just taking his sweet time catching up to me. So, I'm just riding around. I'm like, hello, are you going to get here anytime soon? Like, come on. But I don't remember him being that slow, but I guess he is. So I guess if you want to beat this guy really quickly, just run up to him and then immediately turn around like right before you get to him and he'll pop out. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what I did in my first playthrough of this game, and that's probably how I beat him so quickly. So I'm trying to slow down here, and I'm trying to turn and get him to catch up to me. And he finally does, but then I end up not hitting his eye. And I don't know why, I had a really hard time turning going around here. So as you can see, I didn't get to him fast enough, and then I run into the wall. And then aggro takes forever to run, so I get ran over again. So I think on this run through, I actually finally get him. Nope, he decided to jump. Never mind. Yeah, as you can see, this is not a very big Colossus. He's actually one of the smaller ones. Alright, so I think this time I actually get him. I believe it's this time. And thank goodness for a recharging health bar. <laughs> thank goodness for that, because otherwise I would be dead right now. I don't know if I mentioned this, but your health bar does increase a little bit every time you kill a Colossus. I don't know, I can't remember if I said that in the playthrough yet or not, but yes. Uh, not only does your stamina or your grip increase every time you defeat a Colossus, but your health also goes up as well. And uh, if you remember, um, Another way you can increase your health is by um, finding those fruit trees throughout the world and uh, shooting the fruit down and eating it. So, yeah. I've only ran into two in this playthrough. Like I said, I'm not going after all of them. I'm just, you know, if I see one on the way to Colossus, I'll stop and get it. But same with the glowing tail lizards. I think I've only gotten two of those. There are actually a lot of those in the game. Like, it's insane how high you can get your grip meter in this game. So, if you get it to a maximum, uh, like if you get your grip meter up to as high as it can go, uh, you can actually climb up to the top of the Shrine of the Worship, and uh, there's a secret place up there that I'm not going to spoil yet. But, uh, yeah. I'm not going to be doing that. But, we are actually going to see that place in the game eventually, but... I'm not going to tell you when, and I'm not going to tell you how. So, yeah. Alright, I think I actually get him right here. Finally. Oh, come on. Dad gummits. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's this time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like I said, I probably killed this guy within, like, five minutes the first time I fought him. So, yeah. Of course, now that I'm recording, I'm going to do terrible. It's just how it works. One thing I will say about the next several upcoming Let's Plays, uh, they are going to be significantly long. Um, I'm talking like 60 plus videos. Um, 
Mainly because of two reasons. Number one, the games that I'm going to be playing are very long games, and they have a lot of stuff in them, and they have a lot of side quests. Um, the second reason is um, I'm actually going to um, like make a plan as far as what I want to do in each video. Um, so some videos are going to be longer, some videos are going to be shorter, it's just going to depend on what I want to get done in that uh, particular video. But I'm going to be planning out to where it's... The, the next several Let's Plays are going to be more along the lines of walkthroughs. Um, I mean, they're not going to be like professional walkthroughs, but um, they're going to be a lot more walkthrough heavy uh, than these last three projects that I've done. Well, the last two and then currently this one. I said I should have her play a game and have me try to get her to or have me try to explain to her how to play it and record it and commentate over it so we may do that at some point um, if we do it'll be in the it won't be in the near future anytime soon so <laughs> and then she just got mad at me because I said that. <laughs> but I really just want to get through these next several games. Um, show you guys how to play them because they are some of my favorite games ever. And um, I want to show you how to beat them professionally. Um, and give you guys some detailed sort of walkthrough. Ish content um, on them. So, yeah. Alright. <laughs> One of these days, this fight is going to come to an end. Let's see. I think I might actually get him here. By the way, if you're new to the channel and you're confused on the commentary, um, I do post commentary. So, uh, the recording software I have doesn't allow me to. Uh, the game footage and the audio at the same time. Um, I'm hoping to eventually um, get, you know, maybe one of these days, uh, get some software that will allow me to do that, because I know it does exist, uh, because I would like to do live commentary. Alright, finally, there we go. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm probably going to have to wait until I get my own laptop to do that. Um, I'm actually recording all of this on my wife's laptop. Um, as well as the last two Let's Plays I've done. Everything I've done on this channel, I've done on my wife's laptop, so... Yeah. So... Um, I had a... Uh, I actually had a... Uh, I believe it was a... No, it wasn't a Chromebook. Uh, or it might have been a Chromebook. I think it did have a Chromebook. And, um... It ended up, like, crashing. Like, the system just completely crashed on me. Like, the entire just computer just went dead. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> like, I couldn't even get it to turn on. Um, so, that happened, so I ended up having to throw that away. But finally, finally, the Sand Tiger is defeated, and down he goes. Alright, let's see if we can escape this time. Aggro, come on! We need to get out! <laughs> Alright, well that fight was unnecessarily long. <laughs> Alright, so now we have defeated 10 out of 16. We only have 6 more to go. Yay!
All right, so next time on Shadow of the Colossus, we're going to take on what is probably a lot of people's least favorite fight in the game. This fight can either be really easy or really hard. Hopefully, and for me, it'll be really easy. But that'll be next time. This is Joseph from Nose Match, and I'm only saying thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.